Hey everybody, welcome back to Tens of Motorsports. We finally did it, the truck is now complete. To show that we know how to finish a project, the truck is now done. I'd like to go take it out today and uh, go get uh, into like a, a nice empty parking lot and get some good footage of it before it gets too cold and nasty outside. And before the truck gets too dirty. As you drive in the fall and it starts to snow and, and that kind of stuff, the cars get really dirty really quickly. In this video, we'd like to do the dash cover uh, gauge face plate, whatever you want to call it. And actually, I'll show you that right now. We just got this in the mail the other day. So there is a new cover. I think that looks absolutely fantastic. It doesn't say use diesel fuel only anymore, which I think is kind of cool because it's just a warning sticker for people that aren't paying attention and for people that know it shouldn't be a problem. And then it also says Dodge there on the miles per hour. And then there is no kilometers per hour. If I remember right, this truck actually does have kilometers per hour there you go in the blue there's kilometers an hour so we're gonna get rid of that so I just think this looks a lot more clean I think it looks really cool so I'm very happy for this this was actually custom made by somebody and it took us a really long time to get it because he makes them individually so I'll have the link to this in the description below he does take a long time to get some stuff done uh, depending on what's going on but it's awesome quality work and these are made brand new. I didn't buy like a holdover stock or a used one or anything like that. So I appreciate everybody so much for watching this 2500 series. I know that it's different than the standard BMW stuff or the oil testing stuff that we do on this channel. But for right now, it's basically done. Uh, especially cosmetically, we've got everything done. I'd like to go around the truck and show everything we did since the last time everybody has seen it on the channel. So let's take the truck out and make that happen. All right, welcome back to the second half of this video. Now, I am recording this quite a bit later because I was taking advantage of the nice weather that we were having to take vehicles, get things painted, go out and take video of everything. And now that it's nice and cold again, we're back in the garage where we can control the temperature. But today we're gonna to be removing the instrument cluster, this face card. As you can see here, one of the previous owners put wood in there. So we're gonna have to take that back out. Now, there is no way to remove that wood from that dash card. Even over here where we were removing wood from the trim of the truck. So it was running all along that face there. You can actually kind of see some scarring of the plastic that was left behind by that wood trim. There's no way you'd be able to get it off this card. So I basically gotta pull this out and throw it away. So we're gonna start by removing the bezel. This is pretty easy to do. You just pull this straight towards you. Once that's exposed, you can remove this. There's some screws around the back. And I think I'm gonna pull the whole thing out if I can. If not, I think we can replace it leaving it in here. I know you have to remove something on the transmission indicator. Uh, over there on the right hand side to make sure this whole instrument cluster comes out. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Let's get started. So 
we have it off and you can see how faded the wood is. So that's the original color around the edges there. It's a really dark color. As far as I can tell, all we do is remove these needles straight towards us. And I'm going to be taking pictures of them so that I know exactly where they're supposed to go. When I go to put them back on, we wanna make sure we put the needles back. So I did get the one needle out. Here it is right here. You wanna make sure that you don't flick it towards yourself. You also wanna make sure that if it's not coming out, just work on it slowly. All I did was grab a fork and then you can work it underneath the needle like so. And then you just kind of slowly wiggle it out. I'm not gonna try to do it one-handed because I don't want to lose a needle or break anything. So let's get the rest of these off. I did take a picture to make sure that uh, I know exactly where to put them when we're done. If you are gonna be reusing this face plate and you don't want to scratch it with the fork, you can grab like a paper towel. And then when you put pressure on the plate against your fork, you just put the paper towel underneath it and that way you're not scratching it. In this case where we're getting rid of this dash card, I don't have to worry about it. So let's get the other needles out and continue from there. All right, so my camera battery died. I did some work off camera while I was waiting for the battery to recharge, but all I did was remove this. Now, as far as I can tell, this is glued right here. So what you wanna do is heat this up. We used a hair dryer, we heated it up, and then you could peel back like this. If it's stiff like this, cold, uh, you could potentially damage this piece back behind it, and this plastic does get very brittle the older these trucks get. So we were able to remove this from here. Uh, you can see that we damaged it right here, and there is a little bit of stuff left over, so we're gonna have to pull this off. So there's some here, there's some right there. And then the other thing that I tried here, I also wanted to show this on camera, is that these uh, spots for your needles to rest on, where it maxes out and then the lowest setting. So you can remove those and go onto the new one. The other thing I did off camera is I went through and I made the needles red. They're normally orange. So here's like a before and after. Uh, this is very easy to do. I do this oftentimes on the BMWs. So there you go, all done. I think that looks really cool. It's a quick, easy way, free, basically, to make your needles in whatever vehicle you're doing just look a little bit more sporty. So this will get rid of the orange. Now, let's remove this from here and show exactly what this is supposed to look like. So it's gonna roughly look something like this. The other thing that this kit comes with is a replacement one of these. Now this right here doesn't necessarily go very bad. Mine, besides being dirty, it's not. there's nothing really wrong with it, but I got my new one, it comes with some tape, and then that goes right behind here. So before I put all this back together, I'm going to continue to remove these from back behind there and move them over to this, and then we should be good to go put all this back together, button everything back up. Well, there you go. It is back in the truck. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I really like that it looks a lot less cluttered. So you have just five, 10, 15, 20 miles an hour instead of every two and a half miles an hour, there's a tick. I think that removing those ticks clean that up. I also like that it says Dodge there. It also gets rid of the kilometers per hour, uh, including down here where it says miles per hour because it used to say uh, miles per hour and kilometers per hour. The font is all bold compared to the other ones. So all of these numbers here are all bold. The RPM times 1000 right here I think looks cooler. And it also doesn't say diesel only, which again, it just kind of makes this look really nice and clean. I really like the way that the red needles have turned out on this. So before I button everything back up and put that piece back on, I want to go and take the truck for a drive compare it to my Edge 
make sure that all of these dials are correct. If they're not, I can just pull this back off. It's not actually screwed in right now. We will just go from there. All right, everybody, we're completely back together. I really like the red needles. I think they turned out absolutely awesome. They look great. I just like how much more simple this looks. And obviously, since it's new, it's gonna look better than the old stuff that was in here. I really appreciate everybody for watching. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed today's content, hit the like button, subscribe if you are new. Check out our Patreon link in the description below. We offer early ad-free access of all of our content. Just go and check that out. Starts at just a dollar a month. Also check out our Instagram and Snapchat in the description below as well. Thanks again so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.